वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल टूडे वीडियो इज अबाउट एस्पेक्ट जे इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ एओ पी द एस्पेक्ट जे इम्प्लीमेंटेशन इज द मोस्ट कॉमनली यूज इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ एओ पी इट प्रोवाइड्स टू वेज इन विच एओ पी कैन बी इम्प्लीमेंटेड वन इज द स्कीमा बेस्ड अप्रोच दैट वी हैड सीन इन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वेर इन वी हैड इम्प्लीमेंटेड अ होल एग्जाम्पल यूजिंग द स्कीमा बेस्ड ए पी आईज ऑन द वेरियस टैक्स एंड द अदर इज द एनोटेशन बेस्ड इम्प्लीमेंटेशन In today's video, we will be focusing on the annotation-based implementation and understand how it works. So, let's dive in and understand how this approach works. Now, aspect J refers to a style of declaring aspects as regular Java classes annotated with annotations. Now, what does this whole uh, line mean? Is that whenever you are creating aspect J, uh, you know, AOP code. here we will be writing normal regular java classes and these classes will be annotated with annotations but even before we could start writing the code create our classes annotate uh, annotate them with different set of annotations that we are going to see ahead the first and the foremost important thing that we need to do is we need to declare in our configuration file that we will be using the annotation approach to implement our aop now for that to work uh you know we need to enable this whole uh, support for aspect j in our configuration file which can be done as follows we need to add this particular tag aop colon aspect j hyphen auto proxy in our code to make sure that uh, you know our code is supporting annotations and it is able to find out these classes that we have using the annotations that we have mentioned on top of the classes okay so uh, this is again a very uh, important uh, point that we need to remember that we need to add this particular line in our schema uh, file that is in our case you know is uh, the uh, xml file that we create in our program right so uh, that is uh, needed once this is done we are almost all set but even before we jump into writing the aspect j code and you know see what it does we need to understand why is it so popular you know aspect j is one of the most popular implementations of aop so we need to understand why it is popular why is it better than uh, aop so let's go ahead and see the differences between aop and aspect j now as far as aop is concerned it is a pure java implementation it does not have any other extensions that are needed for the implementation of it only spring apis are needed for the implementation of it whereas aspect j uses extensions of java implementation for implementing the whole aspect j implementation okay again for spring aop you don't need a separate compiler okay whereas for aspect j you need a separate compiler agc for you know running your code unless and until it is load time weaving okay if it is load time weaving in that case you don't need a compiler another disadvantage here for aop is that it only supports run time weaving whereas aspect j supports compile time post compile time and load time weaving support you know is provided here which makes it more faster okay because of these compile time post compile time and load time weaving support it makes it more faster than the aop also here only method level uh, weaving is supported that is if you have to implement here only method level is supported whereas for aspect j you can have class level method level and field all three levels of weaving are supported here also here if i have to implement spring aop it can be implemented only on beans that are being managed by the spring container whereas for aspect j any pojo any normal java class can be used to implement the aspect j annotation so it does not have to be a spring uh, container managed bean it can be any normal uh, java class and you can use it to implement the aop also only method execution point cuts are supported here if you remember in our previous video we had spoken about executions okay we had spoken about expressions in the point cuts right so that is what they are talking about here that here only method execution point cuts are supported whereas here all sorts of point cuts are supported there are various ways in which you can implement point cuts here in a future video we will be talking about uh, what are these various different point cuts that are supported by aspect j and c n implementation for it okay another disadvantage or drawback that we have in spring aop that for implementing spring aop you need to have proxies created so uh, you know you can either use java based proxies or other proxies so basically you need a proxy here for the targeted object and the aspect is applied on the proxy if you remember the uh, first program that we had seen on spring aop you know using the traditional approach there we were talking about proxies and we had implemented it using 
proxies in case if you have not seen my that video you can check out my video on the traditional implementation of spring aop i'll share the link here and you can use that link to uh, you know see the video okay whereas for aspect j okay here it is viewed directly before the code application is executed okay so here as you can see it also supports compile time and post compile time this will happen even before the code executes the implementation is going to be comparatively faster than that of the traditional spring aop approach okay one advantage that you get here in spring aop is it is easy to learn and implement whereas the aspect j is uh, complicated then the aop because there are a lot of third party libraries etc that you need to use you need to use the agc compiler so this is comparatively complicated but yes the advantage that it gives are far more uh, you know than the traditional approach uh, that is why you know most of the people these days even prefer going for aspect j okay so these are some of the differences between the two spring aop and aspect j going further let's talk about the various annotations that we have for aspect j one is uh, at the rate aspect so this annotation basically helps you in implementing or notifying your spring that this particular class is my aspect now uh, if i see the code implementation this is how i'll be writing i'll be having a class like we had before example in our previous uh, video also we had seen this before example on top of that you need to use the at the rate aspect annotation okay so this is what you need uh, this is or you can say this is how it is implemented going further the second one that we have is a point cut annotation uh, now this is how you usually write a point cut annotation that is in your class you basically use the point cut annotation along with the execution the expression uh, that we had used in our previous video is implemented like this here if you remember so we'll be using execution com dot learning dot model dot car details and uh, this is where we are uh, you know referring that it will refer to now this that you can see is a blank implementation of car service so this is going to be the id that we will use later when we define a advice so this is how we are defining a point cut later on when we have different devices like before at the rate before at the rate after returning after throwing after around now for implementing these one of the ways is you say at the rate before and you use the car service that we have defined here okay and implement it or what you can also do is is one of the other approaches which is which is a more inline approach wherein you don't need a separate point cut annotation as such you can directly use the inline approach wherein i am mentioning the whole expression here itself in the advice the before advice that i have here so here this is more of an inline approach and that was more of an explicit approach wherein we were creating the point cut as well as the advice separately and we were connecting them using this particular service that we have so that was one of the ways this is the other way so this is basically the uh, inline approach and this that you saw here was the more explicit approach okay so you can use one of the two whichever you want okay so these are the various uh, annotations that we have here which we can use for uh, uh, you know aspect j implementation of aop uh, so that is it for today thank you uh, bye bye please like my videos if you like my content share it to your family and friends and please please subscribe to my channel so that i can support this whole uh, you know uh, sharing of knowledge that i'm doing here with all the people around and uh, it can reach to maximum people that is it for today thank you bye bye